Uh, so during my career, uh, which started in, in science uh, when I was an undergraduate student at Florida State University, and my, my first mentor was uh, Professor Jack Saltiel, uh, who is being uh, recognized at this ACS meeting with the uh, Joseph Mickel Award in Photochemistry. Uh, Jack uh, really uh, got me going in research and motivated me and uh, sort of raised my interest in the field of photoscience. At that time, we were focused on photochemistry, so that was really my start. Uh, so if you're considering uh, submitting a, a paper to ACS AMI, uh, my first recommendation is, is regularly read the journal uh, to get an idea of the content. Uh, the audience for the journal uh, is, is represented by the types of papers that we publish. Uh, we always advise authors uh, to, to review the, uh, uh, the instructions to authors, which are available on the journal website. And uh, you should go over the scope statement, which clearly uh, discusses the types of papers uh, that the journal will consider. Uh, the main aspect for consideration of papers in ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces is number one, uh, that they're focused uh, on work that involves uh, materials or interfaces in a broad sense. Uh, in addition, uh, we do have a focus on applications, so, so we like to see work that, that utilizes a material or an interface in some particular application. So each year, uh, ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces, uh, in collaboration with ACS Publications uh, and uh, the Colloy Division of the American Chemical Society, uh, has featured a uh, Young Investigator Award. Uh, last year's award winner uh, was a uh, scientist, uh, Professor Yan Li Zhao uh, from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, and uh, he, he was uh, uh, noted for having published nearly 20 papers in the journal during his, uh, his short career, uh, as well as making significant contributions uh, to the area of uh, nanoscience and, and specifically with applications of nanomaterials uh, to uh, medical, biomedical uh, applications. So if you're a young investigator and you're interested in, in a career in research, uh, first is my uh, advice is to follow your interests. Uh, the first step is, is to go to meetings and, and uh, network and, and interact with other, other people your age. ACS meetings are a great place to do that. Uh, presenting your work at a poster, for example, is a good way to organize your, your first uh, research results and present them to colleagues. The next step is to become involved in publishing your work and uh, that can be done in a number of ways, uh, working with your team members uh, in your research group to develop uh, the outline of a paper uh, and then uh, consider submitting it to a journal for publication. Uh, ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces is, is very proud uh, to celebrate its 10th anniversary this year. Uh, the journal launched in 2008. Uh, areas which have really become uh, quite exciting are the areas of uh, energy science, specifically uh, materials for energy storage, battery materials, super cat capacitor materials. We publish uh, typically about 100, 100 papers in each issue and the issues appear uh, weekly, so it's a, it's a very content-rich journal. Uh, we do look forward later this year uh, to publishing a virtual special issue, uh, which will be a collection of articles that have uh, uh, been highly cited or been of high interest uh, during the 10 years of the journal.